Hello, my dear human beings. Welcome back, y'all. I'm very, 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 very excited today because today we're talking home decor. I think like my first comeback to YouTube when I was like actually taking this seriously was a home decor haul because I was just about to start my whole Tokyo apartment makeover journey. So if you can't get the hint, yes, I am going to be doing a room makeover. Yes. So I know I'm gonna sound like such a broken record, but for those of you who do not know me, I have been living in Tokyo for the past three years, and two months ago, I moved back to California, and I'm now here. Situ Sorry. <laughs> Just apologize to my table. I am now living here with my parents. And originally when I came here, I didn't really know how long I would be staying here. And my parents actually moved while I was in Tokyo. So I have never been in this house before, never been in this room before. So it was a pretty blank slate when I came in. But of course, this always happens to me. If I stay somewhere for like over a month, I really can't control it, but my brain will just start brainstorming of ways to redo it, to make it over. I am just a decorating addict, apparently. I cannot help thyself. Um, <laughs> I really liked how we decorated our last apartment, but because I was living with my partner, I also had to keep like his style and taste in mind. So yeah, for this, I'm not gonna hold back. I'm just going for pure aesthetics. <laughs> Maybe I'll show over here like what's on my Pinterest board, what kind of inspiration I like. I really love just like a bright space that I could feel really comfortable in. I'm very much an introvert. I really love to nest and really cocoon myself in my space. So I need something calming and bright, but I also do not shy away from color because I also want my space to feel rather inspiring and also kind of childlike. Like I have just been tapping into my inner girl and you could see with these decorations that I got, I'm picking out things that like my childhood self would have loved. How about we just go ahead and get into it. I've been talking for so long. I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, so the first pieces I wanna show you guys are things I actually thrifted. I'm really into the look of like ceramics and like funky vases. So if you guys are in the market for that, check out your thrift store before you go to like an Urban Outfitters and pay like $30 for a plant pot. Like you'll find great finds at your local thrift store. At least that's been my experience. So I guess I'll show you this really adorable like lilac ceramic. Look at the paint job. like but the ceramic itself looks like this. Anyway, this did not come with it. I actually got this vine from Daiso for $1.50. I showed that in my last Daiso haul. You will not believe the price of this. This looks like something that could go for like $30, but I got this for $5.99 at Goodwill. And I also got this vase here. This one was only $3.99 from Goodwill. And just, you cannot find this in like a generic store. Like they have such funky, unique, personalized pieces like this. Also has these really cute beads on this wire. And of course I was really interested in this like beaded little flower that came with it. And I got this vase because I have also been very obsessed with tulips. I know they are very, very in style right now. I just got these plain white ones off of Amazon because I thought they look really nice in the vase. This came with 10 white tulips, which I thought would look nice what? <laughs> Which I thought would look nice in the pink vase, but honestly, I really love the quality of these tulips. Maybe it's not showing up as well on camera, but in person, they look quite realistic and they're really nice to the touch. That was so creepy. Also got another little plant pot. This one's so cute. It looks like a little fern guy. <laughs> but you guys, when you first walk into Target, do not skip out on that little like $1 section. Um, this was not a dollar. This one here was three buckaroos. $3 for this really cute like peachy pink ceramic. It also has some nice like texture on it. And these are not regular like fabric leaves that you usually see. Like these actually feel kind of nice and she's just cute. Okay, next. I love this funky piece. So one of my best friends, Kristen, has a jewelry line. The brand is called Thingamajig Objects, but she also makes candle holders. And I'm sorry, but this is 
incredible. I love the little heart gem in the middle. I love the tie-dye. She handcrafts all her jewelry and candle holders. I went to one of her pop-ups here in San Diego and was like just hanging out with her. It was so much fun. I got a couple jewelry pieces, but I also just could not stop staring at this candle holder. She had a couple different colors. I couldn't decide which one I liked best, but ultimately we just said that this one was like the most me and I cannot agree more. Also, I did mention Daiso. Actually, in my last video, I took you guys shopping with me in Daiso and did a whole haul. Daiso is like the equivalent of the Japanese $1 store. In America, everything runs for $1.50, but they have great home decor and like home organization stuff. So I already showed this in the haul in my last video, but I thought I'd go ahead and just show it again because I got this adorable butter yellow vase for only $1.50. They had a couple different colors. I think they also had this in white and like a sky blue, which was so cute. Also, I showed this in the last one, this really cute fern I thought would be perfect. Very very stylish. But yeah, so in total, this whole ensemble was $3. Love that for us. Love saving that quaint. Also from Daiso, this guy was a hit in my last video. Like y'all were obsessed with my little panda. This was actually the first thing that I saw in the store when I entered Daiso. This was actually $4 but he's actually a diffuser. So not only is he adorable and will make some amazing decor, um, he actually has a function. No electricity required, you just add the water into the back of his head, kind of scary, and the water naturally evaporates from the ceramic. I love him. If you guys have ideas for names for him, let me know. Also from Daiso, I picked up just like a plain white picture frame. But yeah, they have really cute, simple frames like this if you're trying to do like a gallery wall and wanna get a couple or you're just on a budget. Okay, and speaking of being on a budget, why did nobody inform me about this store Five Below? As you could infer from the store name, it is a store that sells everything for $5 or below and it is iconic. Shooketh does not even begin to describe what I was feeling in there. The first thing that I got here is this cotton throw. This is a 50 by 60 inch throw. And the fact that this was $5 is crazy. Like I was looking in like a TJ Maxx or a Marshalls or whatever. I was looking at their throw blankets and a lot of them run for like $25. But this one is amazing. It's like this cream color with these rainbow threadings going through and these little tassels at the end. You just can't beat a nice throw for five bucks. Also this item from Five Below, I was so excited about. Does this not scream Pinterest aesthetics? It is a heart-shaped lilac makeup mirror. I didn't even realize it when I was buying this, but it has like a little touch light up thing. I just haven't put batteries in it yet. Also comes with a tray, so it's really nice. I just put my eyelash curler and like my tweezers in here. I've been seeing like little heart decor coming back and I'm here for it. Oh, hello. So yeah, next I'm also really excited about this piece. I went to Hobby Lobby for the first time and was just so overwhelmed. Like Hobby Lobby is whack, my dudes. I'm just very easily overwhelmed by like large spaces like that. But anyway, as you guys know, like these long candles have been like quite trendy for a while and I'm still all about them. But what I noticed was this really cool, like funky gold candle holder. Hey. <laughs> I swear to God, like every weekend Hobby Lobby has a sale and the weekend that I went, it just so happened that all candle holders were 50% off. So this was originally $10.99. So I got it for like $5.50. And also from there, I got this pink and blue uh, candlestick. But you know, when I was checking out, I just realized I'm like, oh, this looks like very gender reveal party vibes. I'm like, I don't know, is this the vibe that I'm going for? But my mom was like, no, it's so cute, get it. Then when I was showing my sister and her boyfriend, he was like, oh, cool like gender reveal and I was like <laughs> I just don't want that to be the first thing I think about when I look at my little candle holder so I don't know maybe I'll replace this with green let me know what color you think I should get instead of this. <laughs> I also got another frame. This one here was from Ross and this was only $7.99, but yeah, just like a simple gold frame. And to go in that frame, I ordered something off of Amazon. I got a Yayoi Kusama museum print. I actually went to her museum in Tokyo. It's in one of my vlogs. And I was looking for like a cute print like this to get, but they didn't have any. So I just had to order one. Also, of course, I had to get another moon lamp. My partner and I had a moon lamp in our last 
last apartment, his sister got it for him and I was just so in love with it. I love a good moon lamp and I just feel like it really fits like the aesthetic of the room that I'm going for. So I found one for 10 bucks at TJ Maxx. This actually also has a remote and you could change it to like 16 different colors. And last but not least, I just got, whoa, there was a lot going on here. Oh no. From Ikea, I got these little hanging plant pots. It actually comes with the chain inside so you can hang it like so. And these were $5 each. So I got two because I'm going to do kind of like the same concept as my last apartment. I want to have two hanging plants above my bed. So to go with that, I also got this fern from Ikea, which fits really nicely in there. Is that a fern? I don't know what it is. Don't ask me about plants. So yeah, I just want to hang these above my bed. You know, I love a good plant. And also from Amazon, I did order these two like holographic purple plant pots. Oh, but to my disappointment, <laughs> Sorry, but yes after I opened them I realized that the smaller plant pot actually didn't have the holographic coating on it So I returned it yesterday and it's on its way So fingers crossed that it'll come before I upload this video so I could show you guys Hey y'all so they sent me a replacement of the plant pots and this time they both have the holographic coating It looks so cool in person and I can't wait to put my plants in them and one last item, I ended up buying a rug I found at Five Below. It's a five by seven foot coral rug for only $10. But yes, thank you so much for getting through this entire video of me just showing you my fun home decor finds. And I hate to be that YouTuber, but please subscribe. Please hit the bell. You will get notifications for when I upload next and I will be uploading the room makeover this month. Now that I got all the decor, it's just a means of putting everything up. So it should be out very, very soon. And I'm so excited. Hopefully seeing all the decor kind of give you guys some like insight into what kind of style and theme I'm going for. And yeah, I guess I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.